now i am going to discuss about the one to one relationship using the eloquent so in order to make a relationship i will have to create two tables now i am going to create two tables and then i am going to discuss what is actually the one to one relationship i am going first into my editor terminal and then i am going to create two migrations so php artisan make migration then create for example a students table so my one table will be students table and another table will be student profiles so student profiles table for example now i create two migration i am going to database migrations two file comes this one and this one in the student table i am going to call table string and here i am going to give a field that is a student name and another one is email into the student's profiles table i am going to call table then big integer then student id this student id will be used in the student profiles table as a foreign key because into the student's table i have a id for the student and this id i am going to use in the second table that means into the student profiles table as the a uh, foreign key now i am going to put other information in this table for example country like this that means actually uh, instead of student profiles i could give the student country table that is also possible just i am going to tell you that a single student information i am going to break into two tables for example name and email into here and in the profiles table here can be hundreds of information right but but for uh, showing you the example so that you can easily understand i just keep only one data that is country one column so here what i will do i am going to create tables now so php artisan migrate but before running that command i am going to check my database this is dot env file as this is a new installation so here i am going to give my password root database is laravel now i am going to run it you see that there is no database in my system by the name laravel so it is asking if i want to create it yes enter so if i now go to check my table here this is my database pc my admin refresh you see that now a new table comes that is laravel and here i created a students table and a student profiles table so i am going to open this into two types this is the students table and students table you see that name email these attributes are here and here is student id country created at uh, and is updated at you already know about this i am not going to discuss about that the main fields what i will work with that is name and email and here is country and student id will be used in the student profiles table as the foreign key because that id is used in the students table as a primary key so this id when it will come in this table you will have to write in this format according to the standard laravel tells you if you want to use a foreign key then you will have to tell the um, foreign key's primary uh, key where it was working in which table it was working as a primary key it will take that table singular form so you see that my table name is students so the singular form is student so i will take this singular form and then i will use the underscore and then id so this is the standard but if you want you can change that according to your own name that is not a problem at all but if you use the standard your task will be easier so okay now i am going to create manually some data so in the first student i am going to give the name for example first student name peter email is peter at the rate of gmail.com this is first student second student is david david at the rate of gmail.com then i am going to click on go another student i am going to use here is smith is smith at the rate of gmail.com so three students is okay i am going to load you see that these three students are here i am going to student profiles table here i am going to insert student id one country is usa student id two his country is 
Italy and student ID 3 his country is also USA go here so here are total three students and the same students are here now what is actually the one-to-one -one relationship that means the first table the students table this table with uh, will be linked will be associated with another table that is in with the second table student profiles table and this student table id for example this one has the id this student has the id right so particular one student will have only one field in the that means only one row will be in the student profiles table that means in the students table the id one so this is one particular student and for this student that means for this id in the student profiles table will have only one row it will not be happen that the student id is used here on time another row there is the same student id again that will not be happened that will not be happened because you will have to use the same id only one time so this is actually one to one relationship so what is the benefit i could use the same field as i am going to use only one time so why i put the country into second table i could easily use that into the students table here in the another column right but the advantage is if there are hundreds of information for a student then if you put everything into one single table as a column that mean uh, that means hundreds of co columns that is actually not suitable but uh, what that is actually not optimized so in order to make your work easy uh, so in order to optimize your database what we do sometimes we can create separate tables like this so single row but i put it the other information into another table so in this type of cases you uh, will have to use the one-to-one -one relationship so i am now going to code I am closing the migrations because those tasks are done. I am going to open my web route. Okay. I will create a controller here now. I am going to create a controller and remember that in order to make a eloquent relation between two tables that can be one to one relation for now. now for now I am using one to one relationship. So in, in order to do that task, you will have to uh, get the help from model. So how, how you can relate the two tables you will have the models so you know in laravel when we create a table we can create a model for that particular table here i i created two tables one is a student's table and another one is a student profiles table so i can create two model for those now i am going to create model first so php artisan make model model then one model is a student model Another model I am going to create is student profile. So student profile, you, when you will create model, remember that the standard is you will keep the first letter. If you had, uh, if you have uh, the two words table name, student is one word, profile is another word. So student profiles, the uh, plural form is the table name. In this type of cases, you just keep the first words, first letter as uppercase and second or first letter also as uppercase and this will be your model name so i am going to put enter you will see that two models are created into the app into the models you see that one model is a student and another model is a student profile so two models are created here now i will create another one that is controller i will php artisan make controller uh, controller then i am going to create a student controller so another controller should be created i am going to check into the stb folder controllers folder you see student controller.php files uh, this file come now i am going to create here a function public function index and here i will work and in the web route i am going to open my route this is the web.php so this is my route and here i am going to call the controller student controller then class and then i will have to call the method that is index method and in the top i will have to call it use 
app http controllers then student controller so now i am going to my student controller now and here i will have to write course but as i will work with model here so i am going to call use app models and student model i will have to call similarly i will have to call student profile model so i am going now to work to make a relation between these two table student table and profile table in order to make a relation in the student because my main table is a student and this table has a primary key and that primary key i have used in the student profile tree as a uh, student profile table as a uh, foreign key so primary key is the student in this table so this is my main table so here i will create a relation in order to do that i will create a function here that is public function and then i will have to create for example uh, profile i give a name any name you can give here no problem so in the student model i create a function that means in the profile that means student profile i will have to link with here so here i will call a has many has one has one relationship remember that has one is one to one relationship class that means if i call here this has one that means i am going to create a one to one relationship with what that i am i will have to tell here that with student profile class i am going to make this relation so you see that student profile this is the second table that means second tables model so that model class i am going to make a relationship with the student and i am going to do the same whole task into the profile function just up to this this is okay now what i am going to do in the student profile i do not need to do anything now now i will have to test if this relationship works or not in order to check it here normally you know that if i want to pull anything from the student table i use what student for example find i want to get the data of the first student so here i am going to use single that means i want to get the single student so here single name this one i am going to show equals single name let's check if it is working or not i refresh you see that the peter now the students table the first student name is peter so it is showing if i give here the find two then what will show i am going to refresh you see that david is showing that means this you know that the primary id the primary key uh, will be used here into the parameter of the find now here i am going to pull all the data so name for example there was another field that is email i put a br here i need actually total three data name email and country in the first table i have two data this two data so this two will be shown without any problem but how i can get access the a country name of this student as this is into the student profile table if you try to access this like this single of country it will not work if you want to show it nothing comes because it will not get the country remember that it in order to get the country in order to get the country that is into another table i will have to call the function of that so in my case profile is the function so i will have to use like that you know that into the student model how i created the relationship using this function so you will have to call this function first then you will get access of this student profile table information so here i just have to call single profile country now if i just go here refresh why it is not working i see here i did not uh, return it so use the return in the beginning so if you call return then it will work so now refresh yes it is working now you see that it is working fine without any problem 
so i hope you have understood how to work here but remember that one another thing i am going to tell you when you will call a class that has a relationship right and i am going to call that re relationship data then what should i do then i should use here a with with means what is the function name profile you see that if you give this width or not it is working here but sometimes you can fall into problem because a table can have multiple relationships with other table for example the student table is uh, making a relation with the student profile table also the student table can make a relation with fees table or, or with the orders table or with any other table uh, so in that case here can be another function like this another function another function a multiple function here can be used so how you will understand which function relation i am going to call here so it is a good practice to use a with but in some cases like this you can avoid it but good practice to use a with here so with profile you will see that the output is same no change so i hope you have understood how to work with the one-to-one -one relationship in eloquent